Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will learn about managing currencies in NobCommerce. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.0. Today, having an online store over the web means it is available for everyone. So why not generate traffic from others market by adapting multi-currency feature for a website? You can appeal overseas customers and increase your online sales by simply implementing the multi-feature currency feature for a website. And the good news is that NobCommerce allows multiple currencies for a store site. And you can display different currencies on product prices easily. So let's look into the administration section and see how you can manage multi-currencies on an NobCommerce site. So let's go to the dashboard. And from dashboard, you'll have to go to configuration and then currencies. And here you can see a list of all the currencies that you can configure and set up for your online store. In this case, I have US dollars set as my primary store currency and it is marked as published. And here you can see I have all the prices in US dollars. And by default, you don't see any country the currency selector because if you have one published currency the store will not display a cur currency selector but if you have two or more published currencies then only you will see the currency selector so let me show you an example so in this case since we have US dollars as our published currency let's make euro and make it published too and remember I'm simply publishing a second currency. I'm not making it as a primary store currency. My US dollar is still the primary store currency and my euro is the secondary. So now if I go to public store and refresh it, I'll be able to the currency selector. And here you can see US dollars and euro. So let's open a product page and you can see here prices in dollars if I select euro that will change the price in euro so this is pretty easy so I, I can simply go and I can configure multiple languages so in this example let's make Japanese yen and let's make it uh, Russian ruble as well okay and let's refresh it okay so you can see Japanese yen you can see price is being updated right away in real time as you select the currency from the currency selector and back to US dollars okay so when you are working with multiple currencies you have to make sure remember one thing that in NOP commerce the primary currency is used for payment transactions with online payment gateway. So if you're using an online payment gateway such as PayPal, Google Checkout, the amount that will be sent to the payment gateway and will be the price you enter in primary store currency. So in this case, US dollars will be sent to the payment gateway when customer checks on or place the order. You can make any other currency as your primary by simply clicking on make as primary store currency. And right here, exchange rate. So now you must be wondering that what exactly is the exchange rate currency? What are these features? So when you're working with multiple currencies for a store site, you have to see that the exchange rate comes into account because when you're working with multiple currencies, exchange rate fluctuates on daily basis. NobCommerce uses an exchange rate which is called EB. ECB exchange rate provider by default and this can be used to get you the real-time exchange rate to your store site so let me show you how you can use this feature so right now we have this the ECB exchange rate selector provider selected I will simply click on get live rates and you can see at the bottom you'll get a live real-time rates that are according to today's price rate so you can see here 
I have Russian ruble is 55.96. But right now, when we refresh it, the price, the exchange rate is 57.2237. Same thing you can see Japanese yen. I had it 101.11. And now here we have 105.8824. Yeah. So all you have to do is if you if you let's say for an instance if you're using Russian ruble or um yeah, let's say if you're using Russian ruble here what I'm going to do is I will apply the rate and now fifty seven two two three seven should be right here. So now you have the up to date currency rate. And if I would like to do for any of the currency, I can simply apply. Or if you like to update all the currency, you can simply click on apply all. And all the rate should be updated automatically. And you can always go and add a new currency. If the uh, currency that you're working with is not available in this list, you can simply add new by clicking on add new button and you can enter name, currency code, the rate, display locale, the formatting. If you like to limit that currency to a specific store, if you're using multi-store, rounding type, and you can make sure it's published and you can put it, make a display order. This display order is used simply to see how the currencies will be displayed on your public store. So in this case, I have the the first display order is for US and then in order I have in Euro, then Japanese Yen and Russian Ruble. And this is the exact order it's being displayed. US dollar first, Euro, Japanese Yen and Russian Euro Rubles. And same thing. And if you like to update the exchange rate, you can always select this and save. And by default, NAP Commerce will update the exchange rate currency every hour. You can change that time frame if you like. All you have to do is simply go to the systems, schedule task, and here you can see there is a task already there in NAP Commerce to, to update the currency exchange rate. You can click on run now if you like to manually run it or you can simply edit it and here you can see it's defined in setting seconds. So 3600 seconds equals to one hour. You can increase or decrease the time frame however you like. And you can simply click on update and that will be used for updating the exchange rate for the currencies. So this is how you can manage currencies in NAP Commerce. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by NAP Commerce, open source shopping car. Thank you.